Hi, you guys. It's your girl Arlene with Diva on the Move. I was coming. I am coming to you today to do another Diva chat. And this Diva chat is something that is near and dear to me right now at this point in my life um, because I am at that point to where I am not living to please everyone else. I am living just my true self. I was recently having a conversation with my aunt and um, we were kind of going back and forth about whether or not... Um, the goal is for people to like you. And she's like, no, 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 you wanna make sure that people like you. And I was like, no, that's not my goal. My goal is to be myself. Not everyone is going to like you. That's just one of those things that you have to embrace, but I'm not going to change who I am to try to fit into a circle. I feel as though when you're your most true, genuine self, that's when you're going to be accepted. And I am trying to do that in every aspect of my life. And so what my statement to everyone is, is just do you. Just be you. Don't walk in fear of being yourself. Don't walk in fear of stating what your true feelings are because you're not sure what other people are going to think of you or whether you'll be um, objectified in some way because that is what your beliefs are. And... You know, I really resonate with some of the things that I've heard Brene Brown speak. And in my last Diva chat, I, you know, also spoke about Brene Brown. Um, she is a wonderful author and researcher, been featured on OWN's uh, Super Soul Sundays. And one of the things that I was... Um, I was reading in her book, The Gifts of Imperfection, which is a profound book. If you have not read it, I highly recommend doing so. Um, one of the things that I found is that I would sometimes stress myself out in trying to make sure that everything came off as perfect coming from me. And that is too straining on your energy, okay? Um, and it's too straining on me to always feel the need to do that. And she gave this story in the book about, she was out with her daughter, they go into a shoe store, and I guess a song came on and her daughter started breaking out into like a robot dance or something. And there were these other ladies in there, I guess a little sedity, and they saw, and they were kind of given like a little side eye, like, oh, and so, she said, you know, she had that moment to where she could either, you know, scold her daughter or make her daughter feel uncomfortable about herself by like, no, 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 stop that, don't do that. Or she could take the other road, which she did. And that was, she started dancing with her daughter too. Be yourself. Don't worry about what other people think. You have to live for you. If you decide to become vegan and other people don't, you know, resonate with that, they're like, no, I got to have my beef. That's great. That's great. You know, you do you. This is what my beliefs are. I can share it with you. If you decide not to go that way, that's fine. You know, no grudge against you and no grudge against me. That is how we should live our lives. And so we're, we're just too old at this point in my feeling um, to be worried about what the next person thinks. And I think that when you are true to yourself, you're being your most authentic self. And authenticity, as Brene states in her book, is a collection of choices that we have to make every day. It's about the choice to show up and be real. The choice to be honest. The choice to let our true selves be seen. That's authenticity. Authenticity is the daily practice of letting go of what we think we're supposed to be and embracing who we truly are. Embracing who we truly are. I mean, I am that girl who has a very high-pitched laugh, slightly high-pitched voice. Um, you might call it a little Bugetto. <laughs> That's a word that one of my friends came up with. I'm like, you know, I am from Jacksonville. What do you expect? 
<laughs> no, no shade on that one. Um, you know, and I'm all about my business at the same time. But I like to be silly. I like to have fun. I love to eat cupcakes. I like to meet people up to have cupcakes. Is there anything really wrong with that? I don't really care. It's what I like to do. <laughs> and, you know, another example is my little brother. He is so extremely tall for his age. And for us, it only made sense that he played basketball. And when we talked about playing basketball, he was like, you know, and excuse the airplanes, you guys, I'm outside. But we're talking about playing basketball. He was like, you know what? That's really not my thing. What do you mean? You're like six feet tall and only 13 years old. What do you mean that's not your thing? That's what you should be doing. Well, you know what? If it's not what he wants to do, you can't force him to be anybody but himself. So you have to find out. I had to find out what he liked. He likes mythical creatures. So I bought him books about mythical creatures. Whatever he likes... Whoever he wants to be, that's who you have to embrace. You can't sh um, shame a person into being something else. You have to be true to yourself. And this starts off in your younger years. And choosing authenticity means cultivating the courage to be imperfect. And that's from another person's viewpoint. Because in, in your eyes, that should be perfect. That's who you are. So what other way is there to be? We can constantly work on enhancing ourselves and self-improvement, um, but we shouldn't shame ourselves at the same time. If we know that we're constantly um, embracing others and carrying the love of God, then we shouldn't feel any way that, um, that we're doing wrong. So it's choosing authenticity means cultivating the courage to be imperfect, to set boundaries, and to allow ourselves to be vulnerable. Nurturing the connection and sense of belonging that can only happen when we believe that we are enough. So here's another thing. Um, you have to love yourself. You have to love yourself. Um, when you come to that point to where you can say, I love me. I love my body. I love you know, who I am, where I am, the people that are around me, the path that I'm taking, you have to love you. And only upon you loving yourself can you feel comfortable with yourself. And I say to people, I mean, you can read books um, to try to get to that point. I would highly encourage if you're struggling with that to seek out counseling and there is absolutely nothing wrong with counseling. I highly encourage it. But if you're not there, stop right now and get there because it's the only way, only way you're going to stop shaming yourself from being true to yourself. And I'll end with a quote that Brene Brown has in her book from E.E. E. Cummings. And in that quote, he says, to be nobody but yourself in a world which is doing everything or doing its best night and day to make you everybody but yourself means to fight the hardest battle which any human being can fight and to never stop fighting. Staying real is one of the most courageous battles that you will ever fight, but it's a well worth it fight. Thank you guys for sharing with me um, or for taking this time to spend with me. I hope that you'll respond and let me know about maybe that moment when you decided enough was enough and it was time to just be yourself. And uh, with that, I'll say you guys, just stay true to yourselves. Do you. Screw what others think. Be yourself. Bye, you guys. <laughs>